Hello friends, welcome in the next lecture of several variable calculus. Today we have to discuss partial differential equation. So our new topic is partial differential equation. The partial differential equation equation e involves what it involves it involves a multivariable function multivariable function and its partial derivatives So what is partial differential equation? It is the differential equation or it is the equation which involves the multivariable function and its partial derivatives. This partial differential equation equation gives some physical laws. For instance, so it gives us some physical laws like Laplace, Laplace equation and second one we can say that wave equation. So first we discuss the Laplace equation. So what is the definition? The equation, the equation, what we can say that dabba square u by dabba x square plus dabba square u by dabba y square is equal to 0 or we can write it is uxx plus uyy is equal to 0 is called is called uh, Laplace equation okay so Laplace equation is a uxx plus uyy is equal to 0 so what the solution of this Laplace equation is called as harmonic function the solutions the solutions of this Laplace equation are called as harmonic function and this harmonic function plays an important role of solving problems like heat conduction or we can say that fluid fluid flow and uh, electric potential Okay, so Laplace equation it is uxx plus uyy is equal to 0 and the solution is called as harmonic function and this harmonic function plays an important role in the problem like heat conduction or uh, we can say that fluid flow or electric uh, potential also. Okay, so this is the two variable Laplace equation we can say that similarly three dimensional Laplace equation also plays an very important role in the science and engineering so th we see three dimensional three dimensional three dimensional Laplace Laplace equation so three dimensional Laplace equation it is nothing but our dabba square u by dabba x square plus dabba square u by dabba y square plus dabba square u by dabba z square is equal to 0 or we can say that u x x plus u y y plus u z z it is equal to 0 and this three dimensional 
this three-dimensional Laplace equation plays an important role. Equation is plays an important role in geophysics. In geophysics, for instance, if u of x, y, z is represent represent the magnetic field force magnetic field strength at position x y z then it satisfies three dimensional laplace equation equation okay so we take one example on the laplace equation so our problem is verify that the function u of x y is equal to e raised to x sin y e raised to x sin y is a solution solution of Laplace equation so you have to verify this given function is a solution of the Laplace equation or you can say that or there may be question like this u of x y is equal to e raised to x satisfies the Laplace equation oh, so they can be asked question different way also so solution so what is given what we have given given u of x y is equal to e raised to x sin y so what is our what is our Laplace equation Laplace equation is what is Laplace equation? u x x plus u y y it is equal to 0 and for this what we have to find? We have given u so you have to find u x x and u y y and for this we have to first find first order partial derivatives u x and u y. How we find u x? For u x this is say it is equation number 1 for u x keep which uh, what we have to keep y constant and they differentiate differentiate with respect to with respect to what x okay so so what is the derivative of ux u is ux it is equal to what e raised to x this sine y is constant so derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into sine y so again you have to differentiate this with respect to x keeping y constant so we get u x x so what is our u x x again e raised to x derivative is e raised to x into sine y is it now what we have to do differentiate or for for what u y what we have to do keep x constant x constant and differentiate differentiate with respect to what with respect to y ok so take the uh, what is the derivative of u is ux sorry it should be uy it is equal to it is equal to what e raised to x is constant now so derivative of sine y is derivative of sine y is cos y ok no need to use the chain rule so what we have to again you have to differentiate this with respect to y keeping keeping what x constant so what should be this u y y of x y it is equal to again e raised to x is constant and cos y derivative of cos y is minus 
sin y. So this should be minus e raised to x sin y. And what we can write? Consider. So what we have to consider? u x x plus u y y. It is equal to. So what is our u x x? What is your u x x? e raised to x sin y minus minus what e raised to x sin y and it is equal to 0. Therefore u x x plus u y y it is equal to 0. Thus, thus what we can write thus the function so u of x y is equal to e raised to x sin y is a solution is a solution of is a solution of Laplace equation okay or you can say that the u of x y satisfies the Laplace equation okay so very simple example you can solve so many problems like this now we have to go for the next that is wave equation so we will discuss wave equation so the equation the equation what we can write dava square u by dava t square is equal to a square dava square u by dava x square that is that is what we can write u t t is equal to a square u x x it's called it's called a wave equation and this wave equation this wave equation describes describes the motion of of wave form like so wave form like sound wave sound wave light wave we can say or we can say the ocean wave or the vibrating string wave very popular example if we take the if you take the violin and this violin or uh, vibrating string if you are taken this and if we have u of x y this u of x y is a displacement u of x t we can say it is the displacement of a vibrating string at a distance at a distance what at a distance x from the one end at a time t so what we can take u of x t it is equal to what is it it represent the displacement displacement of vibrating string at at distance at distance x from one end and and at time t then we can say that then u of x t then this u of x t satisfies or satisfies the wave equation okay so we will take uh, one example on this example show that show that u of x t it is equal to sin x minus a t satisfies why is the wave equation 
so verify or show that you can say or you can say verify u of x t is equal to sin x minus a t is the solution of the wave equation it may be asked like this so solution so how we solve this again what we have the wave equation is what is our wave equation u t t is equal to what a square a square u x x okay so, and for this what we need to find you need to find second order partial derivatives like u t t and u x x so what is given first given u of x t is equal to sin x minus a t okay so differentiate this first what we have to find u t so for u t keep x constant x constant and and what we can say that and differentiate differentiate with respect to what with respect to t okay so how we find what is the derivative of u x or t is u t x t it is equal to derivative of sin is cos derivative of sin is cos x minus a t and you have to use here chain rule because sin is a function of x minus a t so dabba by dabba t into what x minus a t and what it what it equals this is equal to cos of x minus a t into what derivative of x is 0 and a minus t it is a and therefore our first derivative with respect to t is our minus a cos of x minus a t okay now what we have to do again we have to differentiate this u t with respect to with respect to t keeping x constant so what should be this u t t of x t it is equal to so this is minus a again cos derivative is minus sin x minus a t into derivative of x minus a t it is i am writing directly 0 minus a my a t derivative is a okay so this should be minus a minus minus getting plus and this is a into a is a square sin x minus a t okay so this is our u t t x t so say this is equation number one now what we have to find we have to find the we have to find now u x x so for u x x what we have to do we have to differentiate with respect to x keeping keeping t constant t keeping t constant so first uh, for u x keep x or uh, t constant t constant and differentiate differentiate u x t with respect to what with respect to x okay so what we what is our x, uh, first derivative with respect to x u x is equal to sine derivative is again cos x minus a t again we use a we, we, we use a chain rule so dabba by dabba x what should be this x minus a t so it is equal to what cos of x minus a t into derivative of x is 1 derivative of a t here t is constant a is constant so so it should be cos of x minus a t so this is our u x x t okay so now what we have to do again we have to differentiate with respect to with respect to what x so therefore we can write a u x x x t it is again cos derivative is minus sin x minus a t into what into 1 i am directing di directly so our u x x x t it is equal to minus sin x minus a t okay now what we have to do this is equation first and say this is equation number second so from first and second from first and 
second what we can write u t t at x t it is equal to what is this this is minus a square sine minus a square sin x minus a t okay and what we can write this minus this should be a square into minus sin x minus a t and this is nothing but our a square and what is the value of this value of this is u x x so u t t at x t it is equal to what u x x at x t okay that is or we can write u t t is equal to a square u x x okay therefore what we can say that thus thus what we can say u of x t satisfies satisfies the wave equation wave equation okay similarly you can solve so many problems like this okay so today what we see we see partial differential equation and in the laplace equation and wave equation and example on it okay so thank you very much